Praise God, guys. I'm delighted to do this video to encourage especially the gospel musicians. I know there's a lot of uh, discouragement and frustration and uh, the gospel industry, especially here in Kenya, looks like it's going down. And in a world where success in the music industry is measured by the standards of the world, I mean, like having very many subscribers or having very many YouTube views or even having your music played all over, that is the worldly standard of measuring success. And there is nothing wrong with having a successful music career and even having a song that is well known across the country and across the borders. But I know that there are so many upcoming artists who feel lost and who feel like they'll never make it. And people who are feeling like they are a failure in comparison to others who are doing so well. And recently in my Bible study, in one of my Bible study sessions, I came across a very deep message that God values faithful service over fame. And that made me to sit down and reflect on the, the music industry and everything that is going around. We have so many scandals, we have so many dramas and people doing all sorts of crazy things, you know, to maybe have views and to be popular and famous and all that. And that leaves uh, so many other people who are down there, people who are just not known, people who are doing music just in their church or in their bedroom or in their bathroom but they are singing in truth and in, in truth and in spirit to God. And you may wonder, will I ever make it? Will I ever reach up there? And you may even wonder whether you're in the right calling. And so when I looked at that word that God actually uh, values faithful service, it made me think of people who are doing what God called them to do. Your song may never have reached even the media, there are so much, uh, there's so much frustration even to getting a song to be played. I know because I've been in music for 10 years and I can tell you that, you know, it's not a walk in the park. And people have reached me, so many upcoming artists wanting maybe to know how to get their songs to the media. And it, it's not something I can lie to anyone that I can help you to do that because personally I'm not in the media and I am also having my own struggles. But one thing that encourages me is that to know that uh, a song having many views or a song even being played out there doesn't necessarily mean that that is how success is, is measured. Uh, for, for sure, the number of YouTube views is never equivalent to even the number of subscribers. For example, my song Monya Marori has 2.3 million views, but my subscribers are not that much. What does that tell you? That there are people who actually listen and or watch your song. They may never subscribe but either way, the message got to them. And so if you're down there and you just have 200 subscribers and you're singing and you're struggling to even go to the studio to record another song and you feel like you'll never make it, is God with me in this? And you see someone else who is singing a song after every one month and it's hitting, it has 5 million views, you may feel like God is not with you, but I have a word of encouragement that it is better to be faithful to what God called you to do rather than to be popular or famous. In the Bible, we have different people who were rejected by God despite the fact that they were powerful. A person like King Saul was very powerful because being a king is not a small thing. And when he started going astray and doing contrary to what God had ordered him to do, God was done with him. And God actually chose a young boy who was not known by anybody a young boy who was just busy tending his father's uh, sheep, David. And so some of us, or some of you, who may be just beginning and you have two or three songs or you have one album and you feel like you want to quit this thing because anyway your song has never been played anywhere. I want to encourage you that some of the people who have reached me because of my songs do not actually hear my songs on the radio. I can assure you that there are people who follow your YouTube channel. They may not be subscribers. There's someone who heard your song somewhere, you can even present that song in a crusade or in a church or in a fellowship. And that song has a message for someone because God does not call us in vain. God is not a God of vanity. The Bible says that he who called us is faithful to finish every good work he started in us. And when you're a gospel musician, it's not something that you tell yourself to do. I know most of you can relate because 
gospel music music is something that God has to call you. And when God calls you, it's because he has a certain assignment for you. And you may not ever be famous, by the way. You may never be famous in the worldly standards, but that doesn't mean that you don't have impact or that whatever you're doing doesn't bear f uh, yield fruit. You can sing a song to encourage the poor people, and that song may never make it to the media or to the airwaves or even to be very popular. But trust you me, God in his own divine ways will make that song reach the target audience that God called you to sing for. So some of us may, we may be doing music that may not be very popular to the worldly people because some of these messages are not popular in the world. I mean, like if God calls you to sing songs about repentance, people will not like that song. You know, the media may not give it enough airplay. But let me tell you, the message of repentance is so badly needed. And if God called you to that path, don't you dare try to do something else or to sing a song that you feel this one is what people want and so I'll sing this one so that I hit. If the Lord departs from you, whatever you're doing, because that's not where he sent you to, to, to go, you will be even more frustrated. So it is better to remain faithful. Some of us may not be singing songs that are very well loved because the messages they carry is quite deep for people who want pleasure and hype and, and fun. But it is better to remain faithful to God because when you remain faithful to God, he becomes your great reward and indeed your portion. In the Bible, there are people who God would tell them, I am your reward like Abraham. I am your big reward. I am your portion. And when you make the Lord your portion, he will make sure that he's faithful in your, in your, in your calling. You will feel like it is hard to make it, but God will keep giving you a grace of ease and you'll never know how even your song reached to this or that person you never know how many lives you're changing even if you're not famous even if you're not popular and let us choose to stick to the ways of the lord let us not be the word of god says we should not be conformed to the patterns of this world there are people who are just doing crazy things and conforming to every evil thing and everything that seems to be trending just so that we can get followers and we can remain relevant but would you rather be famous in the world with terms and lose the relationship that you have with God? When you do things that are controversial just so that people can, you can be the talk of the internet and the social media, do you ever care about the God that you serve, the God that the people you preach in your songs uh, want to hear about? Do you ever care that God is being put to shame because of the things you're doing? Do you ever care about the people who are weak in faith, who may be following your music because it has nourished them spiritually, but then you're doing things that are controversial and people keep wondering, okay, is this God really worth it? Because after the hype is gone and after the one month trending is over and you have gained 4,000 uh, or 4 million viewers, where does that leave you with your maker, with the person, with the God who called you, with the God who gave you the gift? So let this message reach out to those who feel lost, who feel like they are losing hope, like they want to quit this thing. Let it be known that it is better to be faithful rather than to be famous. Because the God who called you says in the book of Isaiah 6.10, Tell the righteous, it shall be well with them. In due time, they shall be rewarded and the good deeds they have done, they shall reap the fruits. Let us remain faithful. Let us choose to be faithful over choosing to be famous and seeking to be controversial or even loved by the people. God bless you so much. Don't forget to subscribe for more and to even leave a comment or an encouragement. God bless you.